Hi, Sean from Ashland with my probably my very last Vectorworks 2012 tutorial. I'm going to uh, start putting out 2013 content. Finally got around to getting that and I'm very excited about it. But the, what I'm going to show you today is really, I think, works with just about any version you have. It, it goes pretty far back. I'm going to do a very basic introduction to the idea of creating symbols that have records associated with them that will allow you then to generate reports, the, the spreadsheets, um, for keeping track of various objects that you might have in your documents. And again, this is it's very, very basic, very introductory to kind of show you uh, where to poke around so you can continue to explore on your own. So first of all, I've got two objects on the screen here that I want to turn into symbols. So I need to start with that. So these are just um, parts that you might have in some particular uh, project. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this uh, from a polyline to uh, a symbol. So I'm going to go to modify, create symbol, and then we're going to go ahead and call this um, the uh, six inch thing. A very technical name. Uh, and we'll go ahead and leave all of this in here. Next, we need to give it its insertion. So I'm going to go right to the center and then it's going to ask us where do you want to put this? So I'll say that's fine. This document is fine. Okay, so it's disappeared, but it will be reborn. There it is in our resource browser over here. So same thing again, select the other object here, go to modify and I'm going to create a symbol from that. We'll call this the 12 inch thing and then say, okay, give it its insertion point and tell it where to put it. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my two objects over here, my two symbols uh, here in my resource browser ready to go. So what I need to do is next is ne to do what I need to do next is create the um, the record format that I'm going to associate to these. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new resource. I just right click in the resource browser, uh, new resource, and I'm going to go to record format. A couple of different ways to do that, but that's the fastest and my favorite way. Uh, and then we're going to call this thing. Uh, record. And now what I can do here is enter in the various uh, columns, the various uh, uh, containers that I'm going to want to create here. So I'm going to start with just type. So we'll do that. We'll leave it as a text and we'll say, okay, you could enter in default. You know, if it's, if they're all the same, you could put that here, but I'm going to leave it blank for now. We'll create a new one and we'll call this uh, size and leave it as a text and another one and we'll call it color and also text. And then finally, I'm going to create one and call it price. And this time I'm going to switch it to number. Now there's a bunch of different formats that you can use in here that make sense for, you know, what you're trying to do. Uh, I'm going to leave it as general because I don't want to get rounded up. I just want that, that number. And I know that again, you have to put something in here. You put zero. That's fine. Uh, it's not going to let you put, leave it blank. Um, but I know that one of them is going to want to be 1250. So I'll just go and put the 1250 in now and I can change it for the other one. Um, so there we go. So I've got the thing record. And when I click okay here, we'll get the thing record appearing here in the resource browser. Now I need to get these guys associated to these two different objects. And this is the part that's always weird for me. So I'm going to go to the six inch thing and uh, edit it. And this is the part that's sort of strange. I, you, what we're doing here is we're editing the 2D component. It's only a 2D symbol, so that's all we have. But I'm going to edit that 2D component. I'm going to say, OK. And then we don't want to. Here is the edit symbol world where we could change the geometry if we wanted to. But we don't want to do that at this point, although we could. Uh, I'm going to just deselect altogether the geometry and then find the object info palette and click on the data tab on here. So here's the only record format that I have right now. It's the only one in our resource browser. So I'm just going to check that little box right there. And now you can see here are those data fields that we just entered in here. So to add data to these, I'm going to go ahead and click in the record info box here and say this is the wonder thing 2012. This is last year's model. Uh, and then the size here, this is six inch. And then color, we're going to do red, obviously. And then the price, we'll leave it as the $12.50. All right, so there we go. Um, so now we've got data that is associated to this symbol. So now we need to exit the symbol and go over here and grab the 12-inch thing and do the exact same thing. I'm going to edit that, edit its 2D component. Uh, say OK, deselect the geometry. Any time now would be fine. There you go. Uh, click, click on the, uh, the record that we want to deal with. And this is the wonder thing. 2013. It's the new model. All right. Uh, size. This is the 12 inch and then color green, obviously. And then we're going to change the price on this one here. It's the new model. So we'll make it a little bit more. We'll make it 1475. What a deal. 1475 for a 
Wonder Thing 2013, that's a screaming deal. Okay, uh, now that I've got those two records associated here, I'm gonna go ahead and select my symbol, make it active, and then drop a few into the document so I've got something to respond to. Remember, you can these are gonna enter in just like any other kind of symbol, so when you, you click once and then you can rotate if you want, just like you do with a, a chair or a stage light or whatever. You can also click and enter it and then do the command L to rotate it 90 degrees. So how many is that? Four, so we'll do five of those. And then we'll do uh, the 12 inch thing and we'll stick in five of those as well. So three and then four and then five. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of parts on our drawing here that have their own records associated with them. So I'm gonna go ahead now and create a report. So I'm gonna to go to Spotlight. I'm in the Spotlight workspace. So my create reports is here under Spotlight Reports, Create Report. I think if you're in Designer, or a few of the other ones, it's under Tool, under Records or Reports. It's pretty obvious. It's like right at the top and then Create Reports is the very first choice in that menu. So it's not hard to find. Whoops, but I'm lost. Okay, Spotlight, there we go. Spotlight Reports and create reports. So here's our little create report window. We'll call this thing report. P-O-R-T, there we go. This is the name of our of our database, of our worksheet. Uh, and then we're going to switch from wall data to our thing record here in this little pop down. So here's all the possible columns. And if we wanted to remove some, say I didn't want color in here, I didn't, don't care about color, I can remove the color, um, you can add them back and forth. Um, uh, summarize items with the same type, we'll kind of group them together. So it'll put like all of the, if I summarize them by type, all of the 12 inch things, you'd only get two things. So we only have two things on, on our, our report here. Um, but I'm gonna leave that off now. So I want all 10 things showing, uh, but that's what that does. And then when I click OK, it's going to go ahead and generate the Vectorworks worksheet here. Grab a corner and open it up. You can see what we've done here. Here is the little uh, report, the little worksheet that we've got going on here. Our Wonder Thing 2012s and 13s, the size, the color. And then we've even got a little total $136.25 worth of Wonder Things on our uh, drawing right now. This little diamond lets you know that's a, a sum, that's a function column there. So this is the sum of each of these things. Uh, and then of course the, the headers, these came off of our thing record, the, very, the, the four fields that we created for that. Now you can cut and paste this or export it right into Excel, which is usually what I do. Uh, or But you can also do a lot right here in Vectorworks. This tiny little down arrow here opens up some of the spreadsheet controls that you get. We can also do things just like you do in other spreadsheets, just click and drag. I'm going to make these guys a little smaller here. So I'm going to click and drag on these columns. Um, I don't need all that blank space there. And uh, in fact, I think I can even just delete this column, I'm delete that field here. Yep, delete column. There we go, because I don't need that extra. I can do the same thing down over here, but I won't for now. So now that I'm happy with the way that it looks, I can close that box. Because remember, that's just sort of on the on the screen. It's sort of work work um, the worksheet space. Uh, the actual report is right here. So if I double click on that, it's going to go and drop it right onto my drawing as an actual field. And you can see it's formatted the way that we just did by shrinking the columns and deleting the extra column. So there it is. There's our, our, our little report there that you can put right on a drawing. Uh, or you can, again, export that. Or again, it'll it'll import vectors. will import from other kind of spreadsheets uh, and drop those into a report. Lots of ways for it to go kind of back and forth. So again, this is extremely basic. You get into the, like the landscape uh, all the different plant types or all, all the different architectural pieces that you can get in there. The, of course, the, the stage lights. Um, uh, those are all objects that, uh, plug-in objects that have these records associated with them. So you might want to just open up the libraries and import a few things and take a look at how the records are formatted. At the very least, again, very, very basic, very simple uh, view of this, but hopefully this will give you um, enough information to where you can start tinkering and learning on your own. So thank you very much and see you in... 2013.